One of the things that I learned that's fascinating is that basically I was always under the impression that A, you had to make a ton of money or have an amazing job to get your credit up high. But here's the thing, if you own a house or you wanna buy a house or you wanna buy a car or pretty much anything, if you have bad credit and you add up the extra interest you'll pay, it's insane. Like for a house, if you buy a $200,000 house, if you have a bad interest rate because your credit's not good, you might end up spending an extra 200 grand that you don't need to. Guess who the only person that profits from that? Credit card companies and the banks. I was growing up, I went through public school and did a little private school, some homeschooling. Nobody ever taught me about one of the most important things. You wanna get real estate? You wanna be able to buy a car and not pay literally double the amount of money? You need good credit. That's not even talking about all the free travel miles you can get. And so it's one of those questions, it's like you graduate from high school and you're like, did none of you ever want to talk about credit? It's not that complicated, but there's a lot of tricks to building good credit. I remember when my credit was like, I don't know, 600, 550 once I think. And over time you build it up and you end up, you know, I think now I'm like 800. And it's not just because some people go, oh, well, Ty, you have businesses now, you make more money, it's easier. It's not true. I met a guy, one of my followers, his name is Steven. He's 20 years old, dropped out of Stanford, um, didn't have a lot of money, and he's got, I think, something like seven or three million, no, sorry, three million dollars in credit card lines open, available to him. He has like 220 cards. He's got, I've looked at his credit, he's logged in, he has like 700. And I asked him, how did you do that? And he said, I reverse engineered the system. Like, there's loopholes in the system, and they're not shady ones. One of them's, one, there's a government website that you can go and get things not removed from your credit. I literally did it, my credit was like 780 or something. And, and I got pretty good credit and it knocked my score up like 20 or 30 points in a week because this kid Steven showed me, this 20 year old showed me a government website you can appeal a bad credit score. Now that doesn't work for everybody but it like works more than you think. So it's one of those things after I met this kid I'm like damn why didn't anybody show me this free government website? He showed me the right credit cards to get in the right order which ones to apply for. He has two black cards. He travels free everywhere. First class, he stays at the Ritz Carlton when he comes visits here in Los Angeles. 20 years old, all free, because he's got built up credit card points. He knows how to transfer from one card to the other. It's wild, I'm gonna put a link, you gotta go watch. I recorded, he came to the house, I recorded an interview with him, free info. Click the link, it's in one of the corners here or it's down below in the description. Watch this video. Since I've released this, I cannot tell you, I've created a WhatsApp group on my phone from all the people that are writing in, it's like an insane amount of people are writing in and going, let me see if I can find it, just testimonials, literally. People are like, dude, I watched that video with Steven. I made, we made a paid mentorship program. Some of you that really need to fix things fast, we got a system where Steven will go through step by step over two, uh, uh, eight weeks and help you improve your credit. Or you can just watch this free video. Like, I don't care, like, it depends on your situation. So anyway, my advice to you is, no matter your situation, almost guarantee you, if you haven't done some of this credit hacking, that's what they call it, credit hacking. It's like you, they're, like, they're not hackers like computer hackers, they're like credit hackers. They figured out all these loopholes. They figured out how to get uh, you know, travel points from Delta, how to upgrade to first class first, how to get free gift cards. All of it's legal, all of it's ethical. You don't wanna do anything illegal. Okay, they figured out which credit bureaus you can freeze. Now that's something you gotta do correctly, but sometimes some credit bureaus, um, they report inaccurately. They just do. There's more than one. There's not just the big three, you know, like TransUnion, Experian. There's other ones, smaller ones that a bank might use. This affects you getting a job too. Now, now companies are pulling your credit, and if there's things on there and you haven't repaired them, you can be the difference between getting a job of your dreams or not. So click the link, go check this interview I did out with Steven. It's completely free, he's 20 years old, Stanford uh, dropout. He's a smart kid, but he doesn't even have a college degree. Now it's like $3 million, in, or let's say a million plus. I can't remember if it's a million, three million, whatever it is. But over a million in open credit lines, 
over 700 credit score, 750. He did all this in one year, two black cards, and I think he's got over 20 million dollars in tra uh, 20 million points in like travel and reward points. It's insane. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You'll see, I've released hundreds of videos on the internet. This one is getting about as many testimonials as I've ever seen. Real results from actual people all around, you know, not just in Los Angeles, everywhere. So click the link, go watch this. It's free to watch, you don't have to put a credit card in. You know, come back to this video and comment and tell me what you think of it, okay? Because I know you're gonna